Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate, and I got one of my all time favorites for you with some modifications. This is the new updated 2023 model. This is the Grand Manor 6009 made by Kit Homes. And we are at United Family Homes in uh, Nampa, Idaho. This is kind of wind starting to pick up. It's cold out, so we're going to be real brief. Back door. So this is a 2,000 square foot home. Comes in with three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Had a back door over there. You got a back door right here. Great big bay windows over there. So I've got the older versions of the Grand Manor 6009 on the channel. I was here about two years ago filming homes. In fact, where this one sits at used to be a blue house with a great big wraparound porch. And with that, we got to do inside So when you come in, this is your front door, and then you've got this really big coat closet off to your, would be your left as you come in. Lots of coat space. And then you got a bench to sit on. We've got a couple little cubbies down here. And you got a storage locker in here. And then you've got this great big living room. Now one of the changes they made is those windows across there. They've added the flat ceiling instead of the angled ceiling. You got a shelf up above you now. One of the other big changes I noticed is you've only got the one column here versus two columns because there used to be another one kind of right about here. So from where that one is at the other one would have been right about here in location. So something just to kind of note. They must have changed something structurally. But you still have this great big living room, which is actually a little bit more open now without having that column there. And then this really nice entertainment center. And we got somebody trying to hide from you. <laughs> Talk about trying to look evil. <laughs> I actually moved when I saw you, Dad. This entertainment center. Yeah. Now this has got the pass-throughs. So you can run your cables down below. You've got lots of cable or yeah. your cable and your plug in there. You can fit a really large TV in there. So you can fit at least an 80 inch TV in there. And you've got nice little shelving over here. You got the same thing over on this side.
And of course, you got your recessed lighting all the way through. So you change the kitchen up there a little bit too. You now have a desk area, whereas before there was no desk area right here. A couple cabinets up above. Nice set of drawers and some storage space over here. And then in your kitchen area, you've still got this great big center island, but now you've got this open is open at the end. You've got a plug in at this end. More than enough seating for four. You even got a plug in in the middle now. And one at the end. Once again, this is nice and open at the back side. The cabinet space in here. The black Frigidaire appliances. We've got the Springer faucet. The back side, you've got some really long drawers over here on the left side of the stove. <clears throat> you've got pots and pans drawers on your right hand side. Cabinets up above, all the way around. You got the stainless steel dark gunmetal gray for your fridge. It's getting lots of cabinetry. You got some really big pullouts here. So you can put a lot of stuff in those with lots of space above each one of them. Then you got your buffet counter. Now this one has changed also. So this counter used to be taller and had a bunch of drawers or just cabinets there instead of cabinets and drawers. This up above was never there. I believe there used to be a window above it right there. So they've made a lot of changes to this. You still got your secondary buffet area, kind of a wine center. They do have some plates in there. Now this chair is where your mini fridge is gonna go or wine fridge, whichever you choose to put in there. I personally am not a wine drinker. I don't like the taste of it. I have yet to find one that I think tastes good. Not that I've tried a whole lot of them. And then our dining room area. Now let's just stand back and take one big view here. Okay, now we got to head to this end of the home. Hope oh, we can't forget. I almost forgot two doors. <laughs> we got to go to this door first. Now, as you can tell, the furnace is on, so I'm just going to get quiet from here till we're done. All right, and then door number two that we almost forgot. I know you all would have killed me if I would have forgot to show you the pantry.
And your water heater is right there. Now we can come down this way and check out the bathroom and the bedroom. Big counter in here. Now this is a good sized bathroom for being a guest bathroom. And they've got a great big tub in here. Like they've changed the tubs that they used. So Kit Holmes has gone to a different style of tub. And let me tell you, it is a much bigger tub. It is a lot deeper than it used to be. And I thought the ones before were pretty deep. So into bedroom number two, or bedroom number one, actually. Seems how it's the first one we're coming to. So we got a really nice sized bedroom here. I like the way they've got the walls angled. So it's not just squared off, just kind of adds to that look. To me, those kind of walls give it more high-end feel. A decent sized closet. And bedroom number two. So on to the master bedroom. So now as you can see, the master bedroom is a pretty darn good size. Got dual transom windows up above here, where your bed's gonna go, most likely. And then we've got this great big walk-in closet with a whole lot of built-ins. You've got the long rack here. You've got double racks that run almost a full length. Lots of built-in cabinets back behind your door. There's kind of the whole closet's filled with built-ins. It looks really nice. In our master bathroom here, we've got a nice set of drawers right when you walk in. Big cabinets on either side. You got dual sinks, large vanity mirror. The uh, really nice light fixtures up there. And then we got the big walk. Shower. Yes, it's shower. Great big tile shower with the nice big rain head. I really like the color of the tile. It's almost got a wood look to it. Yeah, I agree. Now this one's not as white as those, some of the tile showers, but more than enough space in there. And we've got our linen closet back here. We've 
We've got the water closet. Not the best way to end the video, so I hope you all enjoyed this one. And with that, you should be leaving me a enjoyment video or comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the home. Do you like the updates compared to the old one? Or do you like the old one better? And while you're down there, don't forget to uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload videos three times a week. And I will see you with some price information in just a moment. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the updates that they made to this home. So this is a time of filming in December of 2022, just a week before Christmas. The base price for this home has come down quite a bit, actually. I remember when the base price for this home was over $300,000. It is now a $264,000 home for the base price. Now, the as-shown price on this home has also come way down. This one, as shown, comes in at $282,000. I remember when this home was over $350,000 for the way it was shown. Close to four hundred, dollars in fact, one of them I shown. Just goes to show prices are starting to fall. I do appreciate you watching. Keep in mind that prices could vary over time. There could be other city, county fees, things like that that I can't account for. So that may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this your home. Have a good night. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.